So let's unbox this little puppy. All right. So we get the sticker. Super cute. Put on your Jeep. Each one comes in a bag to protect it. Mm, love it. French, yay. I could wear this going dancing. Or to the country bars. And turquoise. Who doesn't love turquoise? Okay, let's see the other one. Oh, yes. Love it. Super cute. Oh, my gosh. What am I going to wear with it? I don't know. Look at that outsole. It is so cute. I love corral boots. These are my favorite. Seriously. So I want to talk about first the quality of the boot. Um, the C2909 by Corral Boots is by far one of my favorite boots of all time. Um, probably because most the comfort level is there. And then second, because it is, oh my gosh, fabulous. And it goes with everything. So those are really my two uh, reasons why I love this boot so much and that I pri prioritize it in my boot arsenal and I really stand behind it. It's a quality boot. It's great. It's, it looks good. Um, what else do you want from a boot? I mean, come on, you're fabulous. People will stop you, um, wherever you go and say, oh my gosh, where'd you get those boots? And honestly, you know, working in the stores and, and selling the boots, um, the fun part is actually surprising people with this boot and how much they actually like it once they put it on and how much um, it actually complements their outfit and um, their body style and their body type. Um, it's a very slimming boot. It's, it really gravitates the attention of, the, um, of your look to your shoes, um, which I love. I love shoes. And I love boots even more than just regular shoes. And I feel like it's a statement piece, but it can also be um, elegant and subtle. So that's really why um, I wanted to do this review and just kind of show you the pros and cons um, about this. So getting into the cons, I would say the one con is that it the skin does seem to turn a little yellow. Um, and that's a really a slight like shade of yellow um, just because I think snake skin does that just from age and wear uh, and sunlight so let me show you guys the difference um, in between brand new boots of the C2909 and let's look at mine that I'm wearing today and they're about a year old with very good wear I wear them quite often so let's take a look So as you can see, um, these, there's a little bit of, let's just call it yellowing. Um, but these are amazing. Um, I, I think they did a little di bit different stain and I may have put edge dressing on the bottom and the sides to make it darker um, and to just dress up the edge because you want it to always kind of have this nice looking edge. I mean, the bottom obviously is always gonna get some wear um, but you always want your edge to look really nice so you can do the edge dressing and this one's just brown um, just kind of freshens it up a little bit um, but anyways so this boot really really awesome you can see how I kind of the lamb skin kind of gets heated up and it molds to your foot and how you wear it and that's just how I wear it and um, it's great. So the leather, as you can see, my foot has started to heat up the leather outsole. And when leather gets hot, it does mold to your foot. And that's why so many people love Western boots. It's because they mold to your foot and they're super comfortable. Um, so that's that. And then actually inside, and it has this cute little turquoise leather. But inside, um, I believe that is either horse leather or um, it, it might be lamb or it feels like horse leather to be honest uh, but it could be calf skin um, super soft this this actually does make a difference in the wear um, gives it a little more cushion and comfort um, and then on the inside there is a cushioned insole so whatever they're putting to cushion it could be foam or um, 
I don't really know what they use, but it's comfortable. Um, so as you're walking, it actually cushions your um, step, everything. It cushions the ball, cushions the heel, um, however kind of you walk, it, it cushions you. So overall, amazing boot. I find that this actually goes with a lot of outfits. So style. Style, I feel like this can cross over into the modern world, into the modern style. Because um, you have black and you do have the snake um, exotic skin, which is super hot right now. So you can mix and match it. You can wear it with black. You can wear it with brown. It makes it pop. Um, you can wear anything. Um, so I like to wear these with jeans. Um, and like I have this little cute snake print top. Um, I wear it with that or just whatever, um, whatever I'm feeling, but super cute and value. So these boots are $310 and I feel like that's a really good price for an exotic boot, especially one that's super comfortable and very cute and has a lot of, uh, scope or variety on how you can pair it, how you can wear it, um, and I just, I think it's a really good boot overall. Plus, it does have a zipper. So, us girls that have a hard time with our end steps getting in here, and we always feel like the boot's really tight, this helps you a lot get in. So, um, so if you typically need a wide, you probably wouldn't in this. It has a lot of give in the foot. Um, and then the end step is solved with the zipper. So this is really good for a variety of body styles, a variety of um, cultures, variety of how or what you wear for fashion. I think this really crosses over into a lot of um, areas. So anyways, that's 310. You can find this at oldbootfactory.com and search C2909. And that's the style number um, made by Corral favorite boots to date. So I wanted to show you kind of how I would style it personally. Um, and so you can see I have my little snake print duster, a little bleached out tank, some kind of distressed jeans. Um, but this is kind of how I would wear it. And I didn't really talk about fit. So the fit is true to size. Um, whatever you wear in most boots, most corral, especially corral boots, um, you would wear here as well. So, um, like I'm a nine in most tennis shoes, I'm a nine in corrals, and that's what I chose to wear. Um, so that's the ones that I would recommend you go with your um, true to size. That's U.S. sizing, so I would um, do whatever your tennis shoe size is or... Um, whatever you wear in corral boots, that's what size you should go for if you're shopping online. Um, if not, come to one of our stores and you can try these on if you live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Okay guys, so I'll be um, posting this video on YouTube. Uh, I'll be doing more reviews, so if you like what you see and this helped you, uh, leave a comment and let me know what you think. Bye.